and win today to all my viewers all over the world how are you all doing i wish you all a blessed week in the name of jesus christ of nazareth yes this is another video again that i am coming to upload of um mommy evelyn joshua and this video was um done during easter it was given an uh, easter message on this um video yeah so i want you guys all to join me and let's listen to this powerful uh, message of mommy evelyn joshua concerning the restoration power of our lord and savior jesus christ what he did for us on the cross of calvary in order for us to be safe yeah so join me and let's listen to this um wonderful message by mommy evelyn joshua today in jesus name so stay blessed and let's listen good morning church good morning happy celebration amen viewers all over the world mm. christians believers in christ jesus happy easter to you all happy easter to you too mommy evelyn amen. joshua happy restoration day amen Happy new life and rebirth. Mm -hmm. Let us give Jesus Christ a beautiful round of applause. Mm -hmm. Clap for him, clap for him, clap for him, clap for him. Mm -hmm. He alone deserves the clap. Yes. Jesus only deserves your praises. Mm -hmm. Give him a hand of praise. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He has risen. Yes. Amen. Let everything within you arise and reign with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Emmanuel. God with us. Emmanuel. God with us. God is with us. Amen. Father Lord, we bless your holy name. By your restoration power, we stand here this morning to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for us. Thank you for the hope that we will live in eternity with you. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I say our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Happy Easter to you all once again. Happy Easter to you to come here in Joshua. Please do have your seats. <laughs> Amen. Guys. Join me and let's listen to this powerful message to from the just for today. And you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Congratulations to you all. Amen. That participated in our just concluded three days revival. Amen. I am still praying for you. Mm -hmm. We are still praying for you. And we pray may the blessings of revival, the joy of it, mm -hmm. the healing in it, the deliverance mm -hmm. remain with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So what are we doing today? What are we doing? We are celebrating. Yes. As sir. children of God, people of grace, believers. Mm -hmm. We are celebrating the Lamb of God. Yes. Prince of Peace. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the, the end. end, our roadmap, mm -hmm. Christ our Redeemer. We are celebrating Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. His victory over sin and death. That is what we are celebrating. Christ's victory over sin and death the victory he won not for himself mm -hmm. but for all who will come to his rest everyone who will come to his rest he has risen Christ has risen and restoration according to the scriptures in the book of Matthew chapter 27 and 28 says that it is a process Restoration is a process. 
That is crucifixion, burial, and restoration. Crucifixion, burial, and restoration. It is a process. We talk about the restoration of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are actually talking about the real privilege. The privilege that is given to every believer mm -hmm. to experience a new life. Amen. New life in Him. Yes, sir. We are talking about the restoration of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today. We are talking about the real privilege He has given to you to experience new life in Him. Mm -hmm. A situation where everything that is dead in your life receives life on you. Amen. Everything yes. that is dead in your life receives life on you. It has risen. Mm -hmm. So let all that is within you rise and reign within. Amen. 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 So for the purpose of this celebration today, Let us encourage ourselves. Let's encourage ourselves with a message this morning. And the message is blessing that Jesus won on the cross. Let mm -hmm. someone say blessing. 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 That Jesus. That Jesus. Won on the cross. Won on the cross. And our proof text for the message shall be taken from the Bible. Guys, join me as we listen to this powerful In message the book of today. And we shall be blessed as we listen to this message. 50 and 51. Yes. And when Jesus has cried out again in a loud voice, mm -hmm. he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rock split. When he cried out the second time in a loud voice, the cutting of the temple did what? Split. The earth shook mm -hmm. and the rock split. In the old covenants, under the law, there are barriers, hindrances, mm -hmm. blockage. That limits our access to the presence of God. Yes. It was a big thing, big barrier that limits your access to the presence of God. The word of God in the book of Exodus 25 and Hebrew 9 explains better. Mm -hmm. It is only the high priest, the high priest. Who enter into the holies of holy, the presence of God. And that would be once in a year, just once in a year, for a purpose. The day of atonement. To make restitutions for people's sin. That is just it. Imagine all of us we come to a place of worship. We're asked to stay over there. Only the high priest will come in here. Mm -hmm. Make atonement for us. That was the situation then. That was what it was. There were barriers that limit us, limit our access to the presence of God. That the Son of God came, destroyed the stronghold yes. of sin and our sinful nature. Exactly. So that the people that gives don't us have the access way to from God's street. God's street. Yes, without going in. He came. He destroyed the stronghold. Mm -hmm. The power of sin that keeps us away from the glory of God. Mm -hmm. The word of God told us that when Jesus died, because he up to them, that is God at work. That is God at work. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus Christ, only him, Destroy the stronghold of sin and death and grant us access to the presence of God. Only Him can justly do it. Mm -hmm. Our high priest. Let's all say our high priest. 
our high priest. Jesus, my high priest. Jesus, my high priest. Jesus, my mouthpiece. Jesus, my mouthpiece. Our high priest. Our high priest. Only him alone can just do it. Yes. Let us open our Bible to the book of Hebrew. Hebrew 10. Verse 19 to 22. Are we there? Hebrew chapter 10 from verse 19 to 22. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way open for us through the curtain, that is, his body. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God. Mm -hmm. with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings. Having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our body washed with pure waters. Through the perfect lamb, God gave us access mm -hmm. to his presence. So the blood of Jesus continues to speak for your favor. Amen. The blood of Jesus continues to speak for your mercy. Amen. The blood of Jesus continues to speak for your goodness. Amen. Before God, mm -hmm. you come in with confidence, with boldness. Mm -hmm. Before God, you come in with freedom mm -hmm. to speak, to act, and to move. Guys, this is a powerful message for mommy Evelyn Joshua concerning the restoration power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ which he died on the cross in order for us to be saved to be delivered to be set free to be blessed what a message so guys I want you guys to join me let's listen to this powerful message and also be blessed as you listen to this message so let's keep on listening Mm -hmm. that Jesus has given to you. Yes. The freedom that he has given to you, free of charge. Mm -hmm. Today, believing in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ is not enough for you. Yes. Someone will say, yes, I believe. He died for me. He took my place of suffering. Mm -hmm. He paid the supreme price. Believing in that is not enough for you. You must confess it. Say to someone, confess it. Confess it. You must confess it. Declare it. Mm -hmm. Speak out. Confess it. Say to somebody, declare it. Declare it. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. What are we doing today? Celebrate We are celebrating Christ. Mm -hmm. So you believe, oh, Jesus Christ is for me. He's sacrificial. Talk about it. Mm -hmm. Declare it. Celebrate it. Mm -hmm. Why not? When the Bible says in the book of Psalm 107 verse 2. Since leave the rhythm of the Lord. Tell their stories. Mm -hmm. How do you want to tell your story? Let the rhythm of the Lord tell their stories. On how he has redeemed them. Mm -hmm. From their enemies. Their foes. How do you want to tell the story of what God has done for you? have to speak out. Yes. Tell people. Declare it. Celebrate him. Yes. This is why we are celebrating today. Amen. Those that have redeemed, those that have saved, who are they? You. You and me. Uncommon people that you picked and put it in spanners for eternity. That is who we are. Jesus. So you mm -hmm. come to him yes. with absolute trust mm -hmm. in all he has done for you. Defeated Satan, break every chain, every every yoke off you. Jesus Christ is the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. He is the center of it all. Our high priest, who welcomes us into the presence of God, Having and living the life of Jesus Christ comes with a 
les tickets. They say, come to the tickets. I've been living the life of Christ Jesus, come to the tickets. All by his sacrificial efforts. Self denial. He set aside his own will to do the will of the Father. He went ahead to the cross to fulfill the purpose of the Father for your salvation. He suffered. He was humiliated. He was flogged. Discomfort in order to experience a new level in life. Christ Jesus comes with the tickets. Mm -hmm. Today, when we talk about suffering, people are like, uh -uh, this is a bad word. Don't say it here. Mm -hmm. Suffering is a bad word. Are you a follower of Christ Jesus? The word you don't want to hear. When the Bible told us in that book of Hebrews 5, verse 7, and he prayed, petition, with fervent words, cries and tears, mm. to the one who saved him from death. He cried. He prayed. He made his petition, fervent cry and tears, to the one who was saved him from death. And he was saved, he was hurt, because of submission. He submitted. God heard him. Who, who prays? Who make petitions? With cries? With tears? That is pain. That is suffering. Mm -hmm. exactly. And he was only doing that to him alone. Mm -hmm. Who was saved? Him. And he was saved. Yes. Let us look at the scriptures again. Matthew. Matthew 27, from verse 46 to 50. 46 to 50. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabatani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That is pain. It is. Mm -hmm. He cried out to the one who would hear him. Mm -hmm. Meaning that if we cried out to him today, as his followers, his children, yes. you cry out to God today, he will hear you. Yes, amen. Whatever that may be, the challenges in your life, mm -hmm. when you cry out to God, he will hear you. Yes. Crisis cannot break the one who relies on God's strength. Mm -hmm. Affliction that comes from obedience purifies us. Affliction that comes from obedience do what? Purifies Purify us. us. Yes. And so, my brethren, we're encouraging ourselves mm -hmm. to remember all that Christ has done for us. Amen. <coughs> this is all He has done for you. Mm -hmm. He did for you. What are you going to do for him? What will you do for him? Be obedient to him. Keep pride away. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. Disobedience. Unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. Dwell away from them. Christ has played his role. Play your own role. Mm -hmm. That is all he has done for you. What are you going to do for him? Pride, arrogance, unfaithfulness, lie, hatred, bitterness. Keep it away from your life. Mm -hmm. Obedience. Mm -hmm. It came to show us the way of obedience. The only path to internal life. Mm -hmm. Obedience. 
guys what a powerful message you have heard what mommy even just was preaching to us like <clears throat> we have seen what christ has done for us he died on the cross for us he was he obeyed his father and then agreed to died on the cross in order for our sins to be forgiven and then we ask him what are we going to do for him that is what he was saying that we need to take away pride disobedience from our lives and be obedient children of god what a powerful message this is what i'm taking from um this preaching today and i believe you guys also as you listen to this message also it will also bless your soul and also do away with any pride with any disobedient with any arrogant and be obedient to christ jesus our lord so let's continue listening to the message show yourself to be obedient today mm -hmm. to the word of god and you'll be like your heavenly father mm -hmm. there's a song we sing here lord i want to be like jesus, jesus. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have learned um, from this um, video of mommy Evelyn Joshua about the restoration power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and also like for us to put away the old man and wear the new man in our lives and also to get away with arrogance pride and disobedience and be obedient because jesus obeyed his father and died on the cross of calvary in order for our sins to be forgiven so i believe you guys have um enjoyed this message and also this message has um uh what did i say 
has taught your heart and not, and um, convict you in order for you to change and be a new person and be safe yeah so thank you guys for watching until i come